Hey guys, so today I'm filming a 16 life lessons that I've learned leading up to 16 because I just turned 16 years old. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one is you are in control of your own happiness. I've learned this, not recently, for some time, but it's like you are in control of your own happiness. You don't know how someone's going to feel about you. You don't know what's going to come out of someone's mouth, but you control yourself. So you shouldn't depend on someone making you happy. The second one is life on earth is not meant to be lived forever. So make the best of it while you are here. That's so true to me because my mindset is very different. My old mindset used to be like, I'm trying to chase after something. Live like tomorrow won't, won't come. But at the same time, it's like live in the now, be happy because you never know tomorrow is not promised. The third one is time does not wait on anybody. I've learned this recently. I've said this my whole ninth grade year, my freshman year, time does not wait on nobody because we're now I'm in 10th grade. And it's like time ticks, it does not wait on anybody. So if you're gonna do something, do it now and don't wait till the right time because it'll never be the right time. The fourth one is don't let anyone define who you are. I used to struggle with this. My seventh grade year, I didn't know who I was. So I would ask people like, what do you like about me? Stuff like that, because I didn't know who I was. So based off of what they would say, I would say, okay, that's who I am. And it'll be very different because everyone has different opinions. But your opinion of yourself is the right because you know who you are and you should know that for yourself, not have validation from others because you should know who you are as a person. The fifth one is focus on what matters. Focusing on what matters gets you places. So. For example, if you're in school, you know why you're there, to get an education. So don't go to school just to talk about per other people, be in other people's business, because you have goals. Well, if you have goals, but that's just saying focus on what matters. Focus on what matters to you. You know, give your focus to things that matter, basically. The next one, the sixth one is, don't be so quick to judge because you never know what someone else is going through because it could be you that's so true because sometimes you know human beings we tend to judge but it's better to judge in your head because you never know what someone's going through like when you judge aloud you'll look stupid after because then you when you get to talk to that person or whatever they went through you'll see oh that's why so and so did this so that's very important because you could be in the same thing like you could say oh i never do this but you did, but you were in that predicament two years from now, you know? So it's just like, don't judge. The seventh one is watch the company you keep. By watching the company you keep is very important because if you hang, if you're a positive person and you hang around negative people, why do you not think you're going to pick up traits from negative people? If you're around positive people, that's contagious you when you when people smile you smile it's contagious so it's like you got to watch the company that you keep because the people who you associate yourself with you're going to pick up something from them and that's just how it is the eighth one is two people are better than one for example my youtube channel my brother does youtube with his girlfriend and then also i have a youtube friend so when I get ideas from them, like, whoa, I didn't even think like that. So it's like two work better than one because you can always just be in your head and the ideas that you have, but then you can go to the next person and they can make you think about something that you didn't even think about. So I was like, okay, that's cool. So two work better than one, more. Okay, the ninth one is if things are meant to be, it will be. So that's basically saying don't rush things. If things are meant to be, it will be. It might be years from now, but it will be. So it's like, don't try to work out everything on yourself, but just like stay in faith and knowing that you, that whatever you want is gonna come to pass. The 10th one is be grateful for the little things. By being grateful for the little things, you're able to be happy. And by being happy, when you get those big things, you're able to be happy too. So it's like being happy for the little things is just being grateful for what you have 
like water you know the things that you need not the things that you want but the things that you need so that's very good the 11th one is by holding on to things that are meant to go and don't matter will block your blessings that is true so if there's a friendship that you've had everyone comes to your life for a reason sometimes people have season some seasons sometimes people are supposed to be in your life for a lifetime when people's season is up it's time to move on to different things when you have a friend and their season is up but you keep trying to go back to that old person sometimes you're blocking you're gonna you're gonna block your blessings because you might okay their time is up now you get to find another person and that person can be much better than the former friend that you used to have so and it's all of a learning lesson so you learn from different people have different relationships with different people the 12th one is don't worry everything will be all right worrying is a waste of time because worry doesn't worrying doesn't get you anywhere when you go through something find a solution to your problem because if you worry that's just going to make it worse and you're not going to get anything out of it so it's like why do it and just work to the best of your possibility to make things work the 13th one is stop being shy and just be who you are the old me used to hold back like i would be myself but i wouldn't be all who i am but now it's like i'm just you know i'm carrie i'm who i am you like me if you don't it's okay and that's why like i really started making my youtube videos because i just got over the fear of like what what if someone doesn't like me or what if they're not gonna watch my youtube videos just thinking about the worst of things but think about the positive things we tend to go to the negative the worst of things but just think positive and you know it'll happen the next one is don't ever lose your laughter or your smile one thing about me is like i smile and laugh a lot and i go through my things too people feel like i'm just always happy but that's not true like i'm categorized like i say that i'm a pretty happy person but i go through my stuff too but whatever you go through in life don't lose your happiness because that's very dangerous so always stay uplifted and know everything is going to be okay it's going to work out so yeah the 15th one is help others be selfless yeah so basically when you're going through something and you feel like there's no way out what helps me is like when i'm going through something when i help the next person that makes me feel better because it's like you may think that you have it bad but the next person can have it worse so it's like when you put yourself in someone else's shoes you can be like oh wow that wasn't as bad as that i thought i had it they have it worse than me so it's like and helping others makes me feel good you know it makes people feel good and it's like a benefit for you and the person that you help and the last one is 16 the 16th one is listen to your spirits so when you get a bad vibe about something don't ignore it because if you ignore it and you do that certain thing when you got a bad vibe about it a consequence is going to come and the consequence is going to be one that you have to pay for so that's very important but that's it that i have and my birthday party is coming up june 21st so stay tuned because i'm going to definitely do a birthday party vlog so yeah and if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe and bye